Well, it's been a while since I brought you a What's Wrong Today video. I'm in beautiful Lake Havasu, Arizona at uh, my friend Ken, his mom's house, actually. So big thank you to Ken and his mom for letting us use the garage. By the way, look at this garage. This is amazing. It's uh, RV height, um, four, well, two car garage, two RV garage. Really awesome. Uh, anyway, we needed it because we got this big old sprinter that we got to work on. So as you'll be able to see here, we've got the sprinter up on jack stands. We're trying to figure out why we have no brakes on the sprinter. Uh, this thing absolutely will not stop. And what we've done is we've tested the vacuum uh, from the vacuum pump on the engine. We have checked uh, all the pressures through the vacuum system. We checked the fluid. We took the calipers apart yesterday and um, everything is checking out good. The calipers are really, really nasty though. Turns out they're only like $50 a piece. So I went ahead and ordered some from O'Reilly's. The master cylinder is just like $70. So I ordered a new master. We're gonna replace the master cylinder, replace the calipers. The pads and rotors on all four corners look brand new from the previous owner. So those are all good. Um, it, we're hoping that the calipers and the master take care of the brake issue. But we're also going to change the thermostat. Uh, what we figured out, during our trip to California with the Sprinter, when Tosh and I were in it, we figured out that it wasn't getting warm. So when it was really cold outside, the engine just would not warm up. The thermostat stuck open. Hopefully that also attributes to our overheating issues from last season. Um, when it was really hot, the van was getting a little bit warm. It did overheat once, climbing out of Salt Lake City. So uh, we're gonna replace thermostat first step, change the coolant, and um, hopefully that'll take care of our uh, temperature issues. So those are two of the items that we need to look at. And then there was a third. And you can see now why we really needed a workspace for this because we have a noise from the drive line. And this started when Tosh and I, uh, also when we brought the van to California, I started hearing the squeaking noise in the drive line. And I was hoping that it wasn't a rear end noise, but uh, it, it sounds like it's a U joint. So that's a good, that's a good thing. U joints are cheap, they're really easy to fix. So I'm gonna stop by O'Reilly's now, order a U joint. Um, hopefully all these parts will be in tomorrow and uh, we can get back to work on it, get the Sprinter running this weekend so that we can then take it to LA for our next stop. So that's what's wrong today and uh, I'll bring you the update, let you know how many of these things we actually get fixed with the diagnosis that Ken and I have done so far.